Hey everyone, it's Ian Norman from Lonely Spec, and today I want to give a quick recap of the 2016 first annual Lonely Spec meetup at Trona Pinnacles, California. So on July 30th, 2016, we traveled from Los Angeles up to Trona Pinnacles. Trona is one of my favorite places to shoot astrophotos. There are a ton of natural rock spires jutting out of the desert floor, and it really makes for an excellent subject for a landscape astrophoto. Trona Pinnacles is relatively far away from most cities, so there's not a whole lot of light pollution, and it's in a really, really dry desert environment, so that really makes for uh, clear skies most of the year. On July 30th, it was relatively hot, uh, we had temperatures over 115 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, and it stayed well into the 90s throughout the night. So when we announced the Lonely Spec meetup, we didn't really expect a whole lot of people to show up. We were sort of hoping that maybe we would get uh, 20 or 30 people showing up. But within a few weeks of our announcement, we had over 200 people sign up on our Facebook event page. When we actually arrived to Trona, there were nearly 200 people there. Um, we sort of estimated it to be about 130 to 150 people. Uh, I don't have like a direct count because we didn't have any way of checking any, anybody in. It was a completely overwhelming uh, turnout. It was, it was amazing. So right after we arrived to Trona Pinnacles, uh, we held a little sunset meet and greet where we had everybody gather together and I sort of went over some of the rules for the night, and then I surprised everybody else by getting down on one knee in front of Diana, my girlfriend, and proposing to her, and she said yes, so we're getting married. So I think that that was a really great way to kick off the meetup, and uh, it was really great having so many people there, all the people that support us, as well as people from around the world. We had people coming in from the UK and Mexico and all over the United States. Um, so it was a really, really special uh, moment to be able to share with all of those people. Um, so I'm really grateful that so many people showed up. It was an amazing experience. So after my surprise proposal, uh, we gave a few tips to some of the beginner astrophotographers in the group. And uh, then we sort of dispersed and everybody started setting up their cameras and taking their first astrophotos of the night. So everybody lined up, helping each other out with their settings and learning how to photograph the night sky together. And everybody just had a really great attitude during the meetup. It was a little bit difficult because we had uh, a ton of headlamps shining around everywhere, uh, car headlights and taillights and uh, flashlights going all over the place, laser pointers, people are light painting. Um, and I think that, you know, that can sometimes maybe make it frustrating when you're working on your own photograph if somebody else's light is in there, but it ended up being kind of like a really neat, uh, like fun exercise for everybody to go through. And a lot of people worked together to make some really amazing photographs that night. So we had a ton of fun at the meetup. Um, I think a lot of people made new friends and had some amazing experiences. Uh, one of the things that Diana and I really loved about the meetup was that we were able to put a face to all of these names uh, of people that emailed us and uh, commented on our videos or on our blog. Um, so it was really great to see all of those people in real life. If you want to check out some of the photographs that were made that night, go onto Instagram and look up the hashtag LonelySpecMeetup. There's some amazing photographs from that night. I have some of my own photographs on there, but I really love all of the photographs that were made by the participants of the meetup. There's just, there's some amazing things up there. So after the meetup, the next morning we held a post-processing workshop where I talked about all of my favorite techniques for shooting as well as post-processing for optimizing image quality in an astro photo. The workshop was limited to 50 people and we were basically sold out so if you were unable to attend that workshop, we have it available online. So I want to thank everybody who attended the 2016 meetup. And uh, I think with the turnout, we have to hold a 2017 meetup. So that's in the works. We don't know yet where we're going to hold it, 
Uh, but look out for an announcement on LonelySpec.com. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more astrophotography videos, please subscribe and check out all of our gear reviews, tutorials, and inspiration on LonelySpec.com.